Greetings family, peace and love to you and yours. This is Guru and thanks for visiting my channel. Well family, this video is about Greg Popovich, the San Antonio Spurs coach who rips on Donald Trump. He eloquently speaks about the reasons behind the Women's March on Washington. With that said, let's go to the story. Well family, San Antonio Spurs head coach Greg Popovich took aim at Donald Trump Saturday, devoting nearly half of his pre-game news conference to describing his contempt for the newly sworn in American uh, elect. <laughs> Popovich, 67, called Trump a bully, chastised his top advisors and praised Saturday's protests, defending the rights of women on Trump's first day in office. Quote, it does boggle the mind how somebody can be so thin-skinned, <clears throat> Popovich said. It's all obvious. It's about him. It doesn't matter what it is. There's a pattern there, and that's dangerous. He goes on to say, quote, I'd like to have someone with a gravitas, but he, doesn't, but he got there through the electoral college, which is part of our system, and I hope he does some good things. Popovich was speaking on a day that more than one million people protested Trump's presidency by marching in North America and across the world at a series of women's rallies. Quote, the march today was great, Popovich said. That message is important and it could have been a whole lot of groups marching. And somebody said on TV, quote, what's their message? Well, their message is obvious. And that is... Our president comes in with the lowest rating of anybody who ever came into office. And there's a majority of people out there, since Hillary Clinton won the popular vote, that don't buy his act. He said, Popovich said, Trump should spend less time attacking, attacking his critics and more time trying to bring the country together by ending the racial and political polarization in the United States. Now that would be a start. I would give Trump some kind of credit if he started in that direction, but we'll see. Anyways, it goes on to say, quote, and I just wish that he was more mature, enough to do something that really is inclusive, rather than just talking and saying, quote, I'm going to include everybody. He could talk to the groups that he disrespected and maligned during the primary and really make somebody believe it. But so far, we've got to a point where you really can't believe anything that comes out of his mouth. Popovich said he worries about the effect a Trump presidency will have on young Americans. So true. Quote, I hope he does a great job, but there's a difference between respecting the office of the presidency and who occupies it. Very true. And that respect has to be earned, but it's hard to be respectful to someone when we all have kids and we're watching him be misogynistic and xenophobic and racist and make fun of handicapped people. That is your president. Donald Trump. Family, that's the extent of this video. Please like, share, and if you haven't already, subscribe. If you have a comment, please leave it in the comment section below. I really appreciate your time watching. Peace and love to you and yours, and until the next video, don't forget to love yourself. I'm out.